Hello, good uh, morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are around the world. Welcome, and uh, I want to say happy birthday. My name is Didier Pitet. I'm the external lead of the first Global Patient Safety Challenge of WHO Patient Safety. Why do I like to say happy birthday? Just because we are celebrating today, 5th of May, our third anniversary of WHO Save Lives, Clean Your Hands. WHO Save Lives, Clean Your Hands was launched in 2009 to maintain a global profile on the importance of hand hygiene to help reduce healthcare associated infection and enhance patient safety wherever care would be given worldwide. Every 5th of May, this WHO initiative brings people together to improve and sustain hand hygiene. Ultimately, WHO Save Lives, Clean Your Hands aims to galvanize hand hygiene action at the point of care. You recognize our guidelines as well as our implementation strategy at the point of care. Hundreds of millions of patients are affected by healthcare associated infections each year, leading to significant mortality and financial losses from health systems. However, Precise estimates of the global burden of healthcare associated infection are not available because of lack of data. However, terrific progress has been achieved in terms of awareness raising and consequent improvement action. On the screen, you will see that over 124 countries committed from around the world to reduce healthcare associated infection to hand hygiene improvement and 42 countries areas up to December of last year have initiated a hand hygiene campaign. Isn't it fantastic to imagine so many countries, so many people from around the world? Thank you for all of these. Let me speak about the 2010 edition of the 5th of May with celebrations attracted the participation of over 12,000 healthcare facilities around the world. As of March 28 of 2011, a total of more than 12,000, almost 30,000 hospitals and healthcare facilities from 146 countries have registered their commitment to hand hygiene as part of the global campaign save lives clean your hands thank you to all of you congratulations for being part of this huge large family to improve patient safety 2011 edition of the 5th of may lays down the challenge it's time to move from commitment to sustain action on hand hygiene improvement. The key question to all healthcare facilities for 2011, where do you stand on hand hygiene? How can you achieve these? By assessing your hand hygiene practices using the WHO hand hygiene self-assessment framework. This is a new instrument. What is the framework? This is a validated and systematic tool to obtain a situation analysis of hand hygiene promotion and practices and, very importantly, to identify the level of your progress within your healthcare facility. How can you access the framework? By simply downloading the framework at the address that will appear on the screen and completing the online form to give WHO your details. Why should you use it? What are the benefits to assess actually the level of progress of your healthcare facility regarding infrastructure, resources, actions, commitment, and achievement to ensure optimal hand hygiene practices. It's also to facilitate development of an action plan for your institution's hand hygiene improvement program. 
It is also to celebrate the facility's success in hand hygiene promotion, in particular on the 5th of May. And you recognize and know why the 5th of May. Five moments, five elements, 5th of May. Finally, it is also to identify key issues requiring attention and improvement and to track progress over time through the re